I'm Andy Bernard with Harvest Automation. In this video, we're going to be talking about teaming with two robots. Now, there are some circumstances where you're going to want to team with robots, such as if you have a single field that you want to get spaced um, and you have another robot around. So you're going to want to make sure that the field is actually wider than nine feet that you're spacing into. Uh, and you're going to want to have a nice long frontier so that the robots aren't waiting for each other. I'm going to go into some of the setup for how we're actually going to do this for teaming right now. To start the robots teaming together, you really want to make sure that this data tag is nice and clean. This is how the robots recognize each other when they're teaming, and if it's dirty, uh, the robots won't see it as another robot, but pick and kind of make the robots collide. Um, so it's good to wipe that down beforehand. Um, you want to make sure that the sick is nice and clean as well. Uh, to get these set up for spacing, in Teams, you want to make sure that the UI, um, the configuration is set so that both of these are identical. Uh, if they're not set in the same exact way, when they space, they'll actually space differently and that'll make the accuracy really terrible. Uh, when you go to set these up, you want to make sure that you have the robots back a good ways from the pots and two pots uh, picked out from the front. And that's so that when this robot moves forward and it starts to pick, uh, it's going to back up and turn. If this one, one behind it is too close, um, it won't back up for this robot because you haven't started yet. So you make sure there's a good distance, two clear pots, and that they have a clear path to the boundary. So now we're going to start this robot. Let it pick that first pot. When it's clear, we'll start the second one. This is an example of a teammate timeout. Now this forward robot has stopped for some reason, and this second robot has noticed that it has a teammate in his path, uh, and it has stopped so that it won't run into it. Now once you've cleared the error with this first robot, you can get that robot running again. And then you notice this distinctive double beep. This double beep means that there's a resumable error, and that means that all you have to do is press the start button in either direction, the robot will So this is teaming and uh, you can see that the robots do wait for each other and that they take a different path which is slightly less efficient. For that reason, you really want to space the robots by themselves if you can. But if you have one field that has to be finished up at the end of the day, you can place two robots into the teaming and they'll get that one field done fairly quickly. Uh, so that's it. This is a video on teaming for Harvest Automation. Thank you.